Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, today I'm going to be talking all about my eyelash um, growth journey. Um, back in August, end of August, I started using this. This is called Rapid Lash. I've heard a lot about this. I've seen a lot about this online. It's the number one bestseller on Amazon in terms of eyelash growth. And I was always skeptical and it's not exactly inexpensive um, it's about 40 pounds and um, my sister got me it for my birthday because there wasn't really anything that I wanted for my birthday so when she asked me what I wanted for my birthday I just said this because this is something that I've always wanted to try but I've been a bit skeptical and yeah so she got it for my birthday and she got it from I think it was Boots um, I would definitely get it from a trusted retailer because I have seen online um, a few reviews especially on Amazon as well saying that the product wasn't legit um, which I'm not sure if that's true or not get it from Boots or a trusted online retailer then you're sure that it's legit and it's not like a fake or anything so yeah this is Rapid Lash and they have one for the brows as well and it's called Rapid Brow and I've also heard good things about that and I'm definitely going to try the Rapid Brow um, I'm probably going to get it next week or something and um, just because I've had such good results of this one and it's I really trust the product now <laughs> before I was like oh is that real like are those photos fake and I was like you know is it you know a lot of reviews online are written by the brand themselves <laughs> so I was just like <gasps> but now I know that it actually works so I started using this at the end of August early September and I've been using it ever since and it's about to run out so that's like a good three months on the packaging it says to give it two months but honestly um not even 60 days in i would say maybe like three weeks in i could already tell the difference and um, my eyelashes went long long but they were longer and they were more wispy all you have to do is apply it every single night i did do it every single night i think i've maybe missed three or four nights out of the two and a bit months um, but I do apply quite a generous amount. <laughs> First of all I didn't experience any side effects and um, sometimes I can be a little bit allergic to eye products especially when it gets on the eye line so there's certain brands and certain eyeliners that give me an itchy eye uh, but I didn't experience anything with this so that's a good sign. Also, it's really easy to use. You literally just apply it like a liquid eyeliner at night. It literally takes like 10 seconds, not even that sometimes. And then I go to sleep. I did apply on my lower eyelashes as well. And my lower eyelashes are significantly longer. Like it's quite obvious. When I apply mascara, it's um almost hitting the bottom of my skin. So after about a month and a half I stopped putting it on my lower lashes just because I do want longer lashes but for my lower lashes I don't like it when it starts hitting my skin because if the mascara that I'm using isn't waterproof then it does you know smudge a little bit and get onto my skin so after a month and a half I stopped using it on my lower lashes so first of all I'm going to show you some pictures of my before eyelashes these were my eyelashes uh, with nothing on them just taken in the morning um around the end of august when i first started using it i think it was like the second day i was like oh let me just quickly take a picture because i might forget and yeah so i took it on like the second day of using it so obviously second day it didn't really do much yet so the, those are my before lashes so after about a month i took another photo and that was um again in the morning not not much on my eyelashes and you can see that the eyelashes are a little bit longer but in terms of volume it's not really volumizing um i would like a volumizing one i would like to have more lashes but that's not the case this just naturally made my lashes longer when you have longer eyelashes and you apply a decent mascara it gives the illusion of thicker lashes anyways but it's just that um, when you don't have mascara on it's not as noticeable so after about two months this is my lashes after two months um, again taken in the morning when I just woke up kind of thing and you can see that they're significantly longer 
and even though it says use it for 60 days and you'll see results I oh, like I said I already saw results after a few weeks and I did continue to use it and after 60 days my lashes were long like really really long and I have still continued to use the serum um, even though it's past 60 days because I still want my lashes to maintain the length and it's now been two and a bit nearly three months of using it kind of running out on its last leg now let me show you my eyelashes when I'm applying mascara mascara is the key thing here because I found that when I'm wearing a mascara that's not that great it doesn't do much for my eyelashes and it doesn't really show them off but when I'm using a waterproof um, mascara this is the one that I'm using right now it's so good it's the L'Oreal volume mini million lashes waterproof um, for lashes like mine which tend to just drop after even I've curled them um, I think that's just Chinese eyelashes Asian eyelashes in general and um, they kind of like point downwards or the point straight outwards um, I've noticed that a waterproof mascara is the key to holding eyelashes up literally it's like hairspray for your eyelashes so if you find that your eyelashes droop downwards or they're kind of like perka straight then definitely choose a waterproof mascara the one that I've always been using is uh, see if I can find it it's a Japanese one this is the kiss me heroin makeup if you've been following my videos for a while then you'll know that I am absolutely obsessed with obsessed with this mascara but the only thing is it's Japanese so you have to buy it online and sometimes that can incur kind of like shipping costs custom taxes if you get caught out or if they stop and hold um, your parcel at customs then you pin a lot of money on top of a mascara so what I have done is I switched to L'Oreal for you million lashes waterproof and honestly it's just as good like I feel like L'Oreal mascaras, the waterproof ones, are like one of the best mascaras out there. Like I know that L'Oreal have a lot of mascaras that do really well and they're quite known for their mascaras. But waterproof ones, oh my god, they're on a different level. I have, um, let me show you. I have the L'Oreal one on right now. And can you see my eyelashes are just staying upright. They stick up they look curly they look defined and they're looking super duper long like my eyelashes have never ever been this long my eyelashes have never ever been this long before so this is freaking amazing five stars out of five and i'm kicking myself at why it took me so long to try this i think it's just one of those products that you know you end up being skeptical about but honestly it works so well well it has done for me and i know that online it's worked for a lot of people i'm really excited to try the brown one now because on this brow i have at the end i have like a sparse area where my brows just don't grow and i have this patch that i always have to fill in so i'm really looking forward to seeing what rapid brow can do for my eyebrows so quick mention of eyelash curler as well i'm using the shu umura eyelash curler I have done for years I've tried lots of different eyelash curlers hands down the best eyelash curlers on the market for people like me who have short straight perka straight eyelashes like shoot and mirror you can't go wrong the eyelashes are eyelashes the eyebrow eyebrow the eyelash curler is just on point I'm gonna do a demonstration now of how I style my eyelashes if that is the way to phrase it because I really don't know how to phrase how you put mascara on and curl your eyelashes so first of all I always use like I said the shoot and mirror eyelash curler it just gives my eyes like it opens up my eyes because my eyelashes just stand up straight and they're like super duper kind of like wow then I go ahead and apply the L'Oreal mascara I always apply two coats I make sure that the uh, mascara has dried really well before I apply my second coat or else I find that my eyelashes can end up looking clumpy um, and yeah that's all I do basically and I always always tight line my upper lash line uh, it just gives an illusion of thicker eyelashes and it just I don't know it just looks better it really finishes off 
the um, eye and it just makes the eye look even more wide awake so as you can see my eyelashes are freaking long like oh my gosh I'm in love so the one thing I also want to mention is the ends of my eyelashes they became so long that they were curling on themselves so I stopped applying it on the ends of my eyelashes as well because they're as long as I possibly could want them. I only applied it on the middle and the top, um, beginning top section of my eye because when they started curling, when I applied mascara, the ends looked clumpy because they were curling on themselves. So it's like a full curl. It wasn't poking up straight like these ones do in the middle. The ends were just, I don't know, they just became so curly and yeah, I stopped applying it maybe about a month ago so maybe about five weeks in six weeks I stopped applying it on the ends and my eyelashes are still long like the ends are still long another thing I want to mention which I never thought I would actually ever have to say but this because I was applying on my lower lashes I think that sometimes the serum traveled downwards onto the top of my skin here just on top of my cheekbone and after about five or six weeks, when I was doing my makeup, I was wondering why I had like dark patches underneath my eyes and no amount of concealer could cover it. And it felt like there was a patch that just wouldn't take any makeup. And I was like, what the hell is wrong with like that under eye area? Until I bought a ring light and I did a close up of my eyes. And what I noticed was, it was actually really hairy down here so I have a feeling that when I applied the serum on my lower lashes when I was sleeping or maybe when I rubbed my eyes or something it travelled down onto my skin and it actually accelerated the hair growth on my skin so I had like two hairy patches down here which as soon as I saw it I should have taken a photo so that you guys could have seen what I meant. It's kind of like the same when you get like a moustache and it looks dark, you know what I mean? And as soon as I saw it, I just had to get my face shaver and this little thing here, this little guy here. And I just had to shave it off because none of my makeup was sitting properly or looking right and I had these like two dark patches. So definitely take that into consideration. I never thought an eyelash serum would give me a hairy face, but it did. So yeah, all of you guys who've been wondering what I used, I did put it on my Instagram stories a couple of times. So if you follow me on my Instagram, then you probably would have seen already that it was Rapid Lash. Um, I didn't want to like do a big hoo-ha about it before I had finished the course of like two months and give you a proper review. Um, in case some of you guys went, to, went and bought it, but actually it didn't work on me and it doesn't work and I don't want you guys to waste your money so I kind of like just waited until I can make this video so I can tell you guys that it's rapid lash and it's freaking amazing and if you want long eyelashes you definitely need this in your life. I hope this video was helpful and if you want long eyelashes definitely give it a go and I hope um gave you a bit of advice as well on how I style my eyelashes. I know I get a lot of questions on what mascara I'm using, do I apply forces, how do I cut my eyelashes, what eyelash colour do I use, all that kind of jazz. So I hope I covered all of that in this video and if you have any more questions just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. So thank you for watching and until my next time I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.